Hey guys and welcome to part one of yet another unfinished project. So over here I have the rear view camera for Golf Mark 7. This is a Highline camera, more about this in a second. And over here you can see this mess of wiring that I've made just to check if this camera actually works and if the vehicle is supporting it without any issue. So this camera was second hand so I didn't buy a new one from the dealer because it's too expensive. I didn't buy one from AliExpress because they don't have a version for um, uh, my uh, body type for the uh, wagon, for the variant, combi, estate, call it however you want it. Um, I believe uh, in China where those um, AliExpress cameras are produced they only have uh, hatchbacks. So I had to uh, get a second hand and uh, uh, I had to find a camera that's, uh, that will fit my car's uh, body and I wanted the Highline camera in, and I will tell you why just in a second. So over here we have a bunch of uh, test wiring which uh, was necessary to check if this works and this one is CAN bus connection to the CAN bus network that's uh, uh, connected to the uh, MIB unit and over here I have power supply from the 12 volt cigarette lighter which uh, powers both the camera unit uh, hidden underneath the badge and the mechanism over here which will reveal the camera. So the cool thing about uh, Golf Mark 7 and I believe Passat B8 and Arteon is that the camera is hidden and it will not get dirty while driving in the rain and makes it more um, more convenient, more usable because uh, for example in Audi cars or in BMW like uh, here if your camera is covered with some kind of dirt or dust you will uh, you will not have a pleasant time using it and this one this one is sealed off from the atmospheric conditions which makes it uh, very uh, very um, usable okay so let's check if it actually works i have obd11 connected to the vehicle i've made some coding changes and i will have to review them in one of the future episodes about this retrofit but uh, for now it's good enough to test if the camera actually works so as soon as i put the car into reverse camera appears over here and we have the image live image on the display and not all displays not all units are supporting um, uh, rear view image uh, if your unit is uh, your unit's part number is ending with 819 or 820 you can find it out in the hidden menu over here or on the sticker on the unit it will not support your um, it will not support the camera. Anything other, even MIB ones, the old ones, if the part number is not 819 or 820, it will support the uh, review camera image. Okay, so we can see that the uh, setup is actually working. So right now I can look for proper wiring kit to make this installation nice and clean. But let me show you some of the cool features of the Highline version. So if you have a low line camera basically you are limited to something like this this is the image that you will get and those uh, orange lines will be green in your case but here there are orange that's um, because the camera will bend those lines when you turn on your steering wheel it will show you the path that the vehicle will be uh, driving through this should help you uh, guide your um, uh, guide your vehicle through narrow paths also if you put it to drive image will not disappear from the display it will still be here and it will be uh, here as long as the uh, parking sensors are active so this is a cool feature that the image is still here and not maybe that useful since this is only the rear view camera and in drive you are uh, going forwards but uh, i will get back to this in a second oh, this is a real traffic alert because someone is arriving at this parking and my car is uh, alerting me about any uh, incoming um, incoming traffic from the rear side okay Another cool thing over here is uh, that you can trigger the camera not only by putting it in reverse but also with the parking sensor button like this. So for example if you are 
um, if you are standing at uh, a, um, uh, as a, an, on a traffic light and you want to check who's behind you you don't need to shift to reverse to um, check the image you just press this button camera pops up and you can see who's behind you also there are different modes in this camera while uh, once you reach to the screen if you reach the screen oh here it is there are four different modes and some uh, adjustments over here as well and the default mode is like this there's a, a wide lens mode over here which will show you the full resolution of the uh, image sensor this is the cropped image that should help you that should be enough to back up into your parking uh, spot but this one this one gives you the really wide view of uh, what's behind the vehicle over here we have a parallel parking um, uh, um, uh, assistant maybe let's call it like this I'm not sure if I'm able to check it right now but yes if I turn the steering wheel it will show me if the if the steering wheel if my wheels are set properly to uh, park into the highlighted parking spot but since the camera right now is not mounted in the trunk uh, this is uh, this m looks a little bit confusing. Let's pop it up once again. And um, what's over here? Ah, the last thing is the trailer mode, which will show you um, invert uh, image. And if you have a towing hook, this uh, this way you can easily check um, uh, while backing up if the trailer is not going to hit your vehicle. Nice little feature. Okay, so that's pretty much it about the Highline camera and the cool thing about the image being visible while you are in drive is if I put a relay over here on this line, this is the image feed from the camera to the unit and if I connect this relay to the, um, to the reverse light bulb to know if the car is in drive or in reverse I can um, put image on the display from a second camera if I install a second camera over here. So it would be a front facing camera like a front assist, maybe something like this. And um, once I shift from reverse into drive, image from the rear will be replaced with the image from the front facing camera, which I'm going to install over here, hopefully in a couple of days. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions and uh, if something was unclear over here, please uh, leave your questions in the uh, comments below this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial. Uh, that's not a tutorial. That's a quick uh, behind the scenes camera test. If you liked it, give me if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future episodes. See you soon.